hey you guys so it is the next day and i'm currently standing in nala's room because what i think i'm gonna do in here is start moving some of the stuff into the closet so as you can see everything's still the same how you guys last seen it minus the dirty spot here honestly it probably was there before so i just really need to clear out that little shelf thing so i think i'm gonna move this in that corner because when we looked at it last night it seemed like we seen more of the bed in this angle and then I'm thinking maybe put the other one over here. I'm not really positive. I'm dancing around the idea because as you seen yesterday, she kind of started to try to get out the crib. And no, she hasn't really started to do it again. But we really need to get this transition going. I am basically going to clean this up and then play around with the camera. I don't know. I am dancing around this idea. Probably should have waited until we get in that camera, but honestly, with everything that we're spending, I don't really see us getting another camera, like, or getting another monitor system. Let's start doing this. <laughs> glass look funky yeah, i didn't use glass cleaner i didn't feel like going back and forth for that but i'll do that later but it's all clean and wiped down got the latch on the door now it's time to focus on the camera situation and then i'll put a cover on this Okay, I finally got that one up there because I found an extra long screw. So, got this one looking pretty good. And this is what the picture is looking like. So, that is about as much as the view I can get with that one camera. So, I'm going to try to face this one towards the door side so I can see what's going on. So this is what that is looking like as you can see I can mainly see this area I'm kind of like in the way but you can see all right so the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm hoping that she doesn't touch this cord but I'm gonna try to put that box in here and see how that works but it looks like a bunch of hecticness this is temporary setup because if this end up working out then i get cord covers and that type of thing but this is kind of doing the cheap route to being able to see all around the room the only thing about it is there is a blind spot here if she decide to hang out here and I want it here because I don't want her messing with the blinds because she loves messing with blinds. And there's a blind spot here. But I'm thinking that I'm going to scoop this over to not encourage her to come in this corner. Might end up encouraging her to be over here. I really hope not. I really hope not. But let's see how that goes. We'll see if this works out. Hopefully she'll be a good girl and just lay in her bed. But... The likelihood is not likely.
about roughly five minutes now and she is laying in the bed this is weird we did not cover the plug go ahead the plug request a new one but so far she's laying in the bed I was gonna lay down with her possibly even the whole night but for one I didn't want her to get used to that and two she seemed like she possibly would stay in the bed. So the only thing is I don't have any toys in there. I forgot to bring toys in there. But my plan is that when she gets in the deep sleep that I'll put toys in there. But she's just sitting up. She's not crying anymore. This is so weird. I'll try to get back with you guys when something happens. Whether she gets up or she falls asleep. probably like 20 minutes 20 30 minutes later and I officially put the toys and the books in there so typically in the morning time I usually give her a tablet uh, which I may or may not still do but I kind of want to see how she does with just the toys versus the technology and hopefully be able to transition to a point to where she's using it only when she's in the high chair or road trips and stuff like that. So far, so good. My only worry is really about that safety box, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and request a new one. I thought I had to be laying with her the whole time, but no. If anything special happens, update you tomorrow and give you my final thoughts on our first day of transition and then continue from there. So. Seven. 25 and she hasn't moved last night was it success so far i'm just very curious to see what she does typically around 7 40 she gets up um, i guess we shall see all right so it is a couple hours later i'm so sorry for this okay don't judge me okay you're gonna judge me anyway, so just do it. Anyway, I'm in the midst of doing my hair, so don't worry about me. But it is, what time is it, babe? Okay, it is 8.41. I look crazy, dog. Why did I do this to my son? It is 8.41, and now I still have not gotten up. Time is passing by. I'm like, what's up? You know? And she's still not, not, not up. So, before I get her up, what do you think so far about this whole thing? Say good morning, Noah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Close it. Close it. What do you think so far about this whole first night bed thing? I like it. You like it? Mm hmm Gives her the freedom to not feel like she's in a cage or whatever. Mm -hmm. Gives gives the power in her hands to knock it out of her bed. Do you like that idea of giving her more of that position of freedom and power? Yeah, because the, the, the more she gets it, the less we have to worry about as far as anxiety and stuff like that. So if we know she's good to go, mm -hmm. then it's better for us. Yeah. But it also helps her to be more independent. So. Yeah. I like that aspect. Yeah. 
So the first night, oh well, obviously it's 8.41 and this is the longest she has slept in a, in a while. That bed is comfortable. <laughs> that bed is really comfortable. We ended up putting a jersey fitted sheet on it and we was like, we need that. We need it. And she has a topper too on her bed. So let's go ahead and wake her up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, leave the tablet this morning. Wakey, mm -hmm. wakey. Come on. She used to get in the tab with everything. <laughs> she needs a diaper change. Oh, sorry. Hey, Nyla. We try to take on some of the Montessori practices. So we try not to say, the biggest thing we don't want to say is big girl. Cause they're not big girls. They're just beautiful chocolate beans. <laughs> Good morning. It is very early in the morning. Not very early, but it's 6.30 in the morning. And I am up. This is present day Clarissa. I wanted to pop in really quickly because I feel like in this video, I didn't do a, the best job about explaining what was going on, what my feelings were and everything like that because as you can see, it's been a while since I have really recorded and kept y'all up to date with what's going on and I will do a video about that but I have been really stressed out and very overwhelmed. If it seems like I'm very nonchalant in the video, that's because at the time me and David was burnt out like burnt 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 out to the core and i was hanging by a string so i put nala in the room and she just kind of quickly gravitated towards it um as you can see there was moments where she just kind of came in and just jumped on she just kind of knew what was up it was time to change her because as, as you can see from the following the previous video she's getting really tall and i think she was just mature enough to kind of get it started i am an anxious mom so i wasn't really sure what to expect but i knew that i wanted to do it especially after me standing on top of a crib teaching her how to get out essentially so one of the things i was talking about and i cut out the video was the camera situation i was trying to figure out a way to do the cameras without spending extra money well present day um I'm still doing the same thing, but I'm not really as stressed on the cameras because essentially she doesn't get out of the bed at all. She kind of sticks to it, which is what she did pretty much the first night. The first night, she never really got out of bed, and she sat there, and she slept there the whole night. She didn't end up getting up until, as you can see, almost 9 o'clock in the morning. I tend to personally keep toppers on, on the bed from when it's time to transition them into the crib. I just feel like that causes them to sleep longer. Definitely use at your own risk and know your child because it could potentially be, I never heard of, but I just wanna put a disclaimer. Can't be a SIDS type of thing, but I never was really worried about that because I noticed when I put the toppers on their beds, they're least likely to roll around. Yeah, she, did very good and I was like really excited about that because I was really worried and I think also too with the bed being so big it just encourages not really to get out and that's really why I put that little flimsy mirror but honestly um I don't think she really cares about the mirror updating you to this point she does uh play with the toys time to time but really right now it's time to change the toys that's in there to something that more entertaining to her but we 
haven't decided to invest in more toys so it's just essentially she doesn't really mess with any of them but in the beginning yeah she definitely did it's been roughly about a month since she's been in her own bed and she loves it she's fine she walks to it when it's time to go night night she actually tries to go to sleep now and i am so happy and relieved about that um i think transition to floor bed is probably the best idea i could have done i don't know if you guys probably have any questions further from this point but yeah that's really it um i do plan on waking her up soon so i will be filming her kind of like getting ready for the day situation we do plan on transitioning noel very soon so i am Looking forward to keeping y'all updated about that. But yeah, this is all and this is the end of this video. So I definitely love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next one.